the people that I'm exposed to by choice, I like a lot, and I think that all the people are very amusing, and I think you're definitely around people from all different places, and um, it's definitely an education. Um, I think it's it's very innocent in comparison to the music or movie industry. Um, oh, definitely. Just from people that I know, I mean, it, just the people that I see. It's very, it's similar, but it's a step down, so... Um, I don't know, it's a funny thing too, I mean, fashion is quite a ridiculous thing in the, the realm of the whole, you know, the whole picture, but, um, uh, I don't know, people take it very seriously, which I find amusing. During what would eventually be known as the most glorious period in the history of the industry, Christy Turlington made it look easy. Having once been called the world's most beautiful woman by the creative director of American Vogue and the greatest model of all time by casting director James Scully, she carries herself with an elegance and poise that set her apart from the rest. As classy as she is gorgeous, Christy Turlington is truly a living legend. Christy Nicole Turlington was born January 2, 1969, to parents Maria and Duane. She grew up in a Roman Catholic household in Danville, California, and credits the religion with giving her her spiritual backbone. She was discovered in Miami while her father was there for work. And she began modeling part-time at age 14, while still in high school. At age 18, she moved to New York City to pursue modeling professionally. The decision would cause her to leave school prematurely, but she would later return and earn a degree in comparative religion and Eastern philosophy. She signed with Ford Models almost immediately after arriving to New York. And she appeared on the cover of Vogue magazine shortly thereafter, garnering her worldwide recognition. And less than two years later, she would enter into a monumental seven-figure partnership with Calvin Klein that further launched her into stardom. And it was in Gianni Versace's 1991 couture show in which she walked, that many have signified as the official beginning of the supermodel era. She would then go on to be the face of Maybelline Cosmetics, Marc Jacobs, Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent and Louis Vuitton among others. And she would appear on the cover of literally every fashion magazine known to man. Christie, along with a very select group of models, would become the flag bearers of the supermodel era. She was prominently featured in the Robert Lee Cock documentary Catwalk, as well as several other documentaries highlighting the movement. With she, Naomi Campbell and Linda Evangelista being known in the industry as the holy trinity of models. And the New York Metropolitan Museum even created a line of mannequins in her likeness, immortalizing her as the face of the 20th century. And while countless models have been known to take up humanitarian causes, Christie has made a life out of it. Starting her own non-profit organization, called Every Mother Counts in 2010, after dealing with complications during her pregnancy of 2003. She produced a documentary called No Woman No Cry, also in 2010, and directed the 2013 documentary Every Mile Every Mother. She is also a noted yoga practitioner, wife, mother and still works as a model today. Proving that one can age gracefully and still make an impact in the industry and the world at large. So I, I will take some time off, definitely want to There can't be many better jobs that, that, that help you as a student of human nature than this business. So. Definitely. I definitely know people real well. <laughs>